Hi guys, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I woke up today and I put on a three-piece suit, jacket, tie, vest, and I wonder, is it going to convince you to join a Discord and pay a little more? Are you going to believe all the stock tips I have to say? That's what certain individuals do out here. I'm going to go ahead and pinpoint a guy by the name of Keenan Grace. Yes, you have to pay to be a part of his Discord. Yes, he wants to give you all the information he can give you, whether it be misleading or not, but he'll wash his hands of it and say, hey, don't put in what you're not willing to lose. It's going to also show you a Moomoo app. Hey, guys, guess what? I turned down Moomoo. Turned down Weeble. No affiliates, nothing like that. But this grifter here is just that. And the unfortunate part is for Keenan is he doesn't even know he's being used as a vessel of misinformation. But Keenan, like you, I keep receipts. Enjoy the video because I'm going to tear apart your video with your own videos. Enjoy. Comment in, in the description to get 15 free stocks. You can go ahead and start your investing journey today. There's no need to delay. This is free money. There's no need to leave free money on the table. But we got to talk about the beast, the big dog, the banger. You know what time it is. I'm talking about AMC. However, let's be clear. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. A wise man once said, you can go anywhere to get the lies, but you came here to get the truth. So I appreciate y'all for that. So what we're going to talk about is everything going on. And hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. For those of y'all that are new here, I want to just explain to you, AMC, take a look real quick. I've been on the news due to my research with the stock market and AMC, Fox News, right? I've been on there not just once, not just twice. I've been on there multiple. You've been on there multiple times. I get it. You punch the card. Look who you're standing next to. Matthew Kors, other grifters, Charles Payne, a vessel of misinformation. Do you know who Fox News is? I ask you that. I'm going to hold that information until you get to your next part. But I just want to ask you, do you know who Fox News is? We'll keep it there. If you think that validates you to talk or give out stock tips, you're just being played. and You haven't figured it out yet. Multiple times, right? I've been on panels, and I want you to understand this. AMC is not like Apple. AMC is not like Microsoft. AMC is what can be called a short squeeze play. AMC is where there are so many institutions betting against the stock and manipulating the stock. Again, we got to say allegedly. but We don't have to say allegedly. We don't. I've never said allegedly. I've literally said it's a pump and dump, specifically. But let's go ahead and look at what we have on file, okay? Hedge funds betting against it. These are transactions from Ontario Capital. And Manchu Gulati went ahead and made these trades over the last two months against Ape and AMC, the company. They shorted the stock. They sold it, sold it at a loss every which way. They bought it and then sold it again. They shorted this stock for the, net, for the last two months, all the way down to where it was. And then they got the sweetheart deal from Adam Aaron. This is not allegedly what they do. They attack this stock. They short it, yes. And then they buy it. They buy it for pennies on the dollar. It's called private equity takeover. Distressed credit investors infiltrate board members. They take advantage of individuals who don't know what they're doing, i.e. you. I promise you, you don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to show it to you. But Adam Aaron is getting used. He has no idea what he's doing. And people are laughing all the way to the bank. Either that or he does. Either way, he shouldn't have a job. But let's keep watching your videos of misinformation. We'll keep it going. Let's do it. I'm going to break apart this whole thing. But this is happening so rampantly that Wall Street is stealing money, again, allegedly, from the retail investor, a.k.a. me and you. So what AMC investors decided to do, many of them have decided to call themselves apes and stand strong together and not invest a dollar more than they were willing to lose. And some people weren't willing to lose anything, so then they stayed away from it. I got to be clear with you on that so that you can understand that this is a movement for market fairness and to give everyone a chance at the mother of all short squeezes, right? You never put in a dollar more than you're willing to lose into something that could be considered a short squeeze play. Anybody ask Keenan Grace his position on AMC? He's shown it. $14,000 is what he has on AMC. This individual has made over a half a million dollars on videos talking about AMC, not to mention his other avenues of, of revenue, whatever he has. I don't know. But for a guy who doesn't believe in Moas, he's only willing to lose $14,000. He makes over $20,000 a month on YouTube. 
It's documented. You don't have to go chase it down. But he's not a believer in the own words he's saying. But we'll keep going. Oh, but you're willing to lose the 14? Sure you are. You've already made 20 times that just making videos about it. But I just got to be clear on that. Now, saying things like this has gotten me again on the news multiple times. So now when you're thinking about who is credible talking about AMC, you got to watch out for the people telling you it's going to go to a million dollars. It's going to make you rich overnight. And then people telling you to pull all of your money into something and they don't understand what's really going on here. They're you got to be careful on individuals telling you it's going to go over a million dollars or it's going to blow up overnight. So Keenan. Curious, have you ever seen your own live stream? Remember your first live stream? I know it, June 10th. June 10th, and you were getting super chats like you wouldn't believe over here. They're phenomenal. I'm, and I wonder if you can even see those super chats on the screen. Oh, you can't. Let's do this for you. I'm, I'm, man, I'm a man of my word. I keep receipts. So let's go ahead and look at these super chats over here. This is you live. While June 10th, while AMC is at 40 something dollars, this is you telling people. Remember, it can't go, it can't go crazy, right? Not millions of dollars. Look at all these super chats. I mean, it, the list goes on and on. It just goes on all show. But it's okay. But we'll watch this really quick. This is fun. Let me check the chat again. Make sure my people is up. Make sure my people is up. Oh, yeah. My man said thumbs up the video. Major salute. I appreciate you. Respect. Super respect. Oh, we got 5,000 people in the building. First, first time going live. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. 5,000 people. The influence you have on 5,000 people at that very moment. This video has over 114,000 views. Look what you're about to do. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Let me know how many shares of AMC you got in the chat. Let me know how many shares you got in the chat. Now, if this rumor was true, which I have heard, I have heard that is debunked. I did the math on that. And it says this. It says that if we could get AMC. And let if we can get AMC to $1,500. Let's say that that rumor is not real, right? That it wasn't going to 1500 Even if we do get it to 1500 just look at this. Think about how many shares you have and then multiply it by 1500 And if we all hold, and let's say we get it to that price, actually, then if you had 100 shares and it went to 1500 you would basically have $150,000. That's crazy. That's crazy. So now, we did the math on that, right? And our boy, Adam Aaron, he posted a tweet not too long ago. And he said this. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Let me try again. See if I get in focus. Probably won't focus. Here we go. Here we go. So he says, as of June 2nd, AMC, it's a little blurry on your end, but hey, here we go. He says, as of as of June 2nd, right? AMC has 501 million shares. Outstanding. That means the total amount of shares, right? And there's 4.1 million of us who own 80% of the shares, while some own more, some own less. On average, 120 shares. Now, if you do the math on that, and I messed this up in my last video, but you already know I keep it real. I keep it raw. That's how we get down. That's why That's why the people love me. I'm going to just keep it real because I keep it so real and I keep it so raw and I connect with y'all because I am you. You are me. I am you. That's why we are apes together strong and we holding strong, baby. But this, in my last video, I talked about this and I slipped up a little bit. But again, I keep it real. I keep it raw. Take a look. I said that this was 769 million, but I slipped and it's 79 or 769 billion, 769 billion. Now my analogies that I was using in the video was on point because I said, I said that that would bring it all the way up. If you look at the chart of the most valuable companies currently right now, the most valuable company is Apple at 2.1 trillion. Then after that, we got Microsoft. I'm just going to stop you right there. This is how ridiculous you were. You were telling people that this company is going to blow up and be worth trillions and billions of dollars. You're the type of guy that was pushing the short squeeze narrative the whole way through, lying to people, getting them to believe that it's going to go that high. They were pouring in their whole life savings. But because you say, hey, fam, don't put in where you're not willing to lose, that makes it okay. Nah, fam. You're fake. You're fake as fuck. Let's keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. I cussed. You'll figure it out. They're actually the weak links in the chain and we need to be strong in order for anything to happen in terms of market fairness but let's get to the receipts and let's get to the facts like we always do so mm -hmm. it turns out that amc is down 2.5 percent right as of one day in the last week it's down six percent and on the last over the last year family it's down 75 percent 
But I got to show you something. People who don't understand AMC, it's to the point that I'm starting to think that they do understand what's going on here, but they like to spread misinformation. Like as if everybody is saying, yo, it's going to make you rich tomorrow. Meanwhile, those who really watch the channel, you know that we called this. You would have thought we were Nancy Pelosi. Take a look at this. AMC, when it was $5.58 again, right? Like we always do with our technical analysis. <laughs> we said that, you know what? On the technicals, no matter if you like it or not, the next level is three. And then the next level is 150 after that, right? Because we always keep it real. We don't want to just tell you any kind of lies. So then you just say, oh, yeah, it's, it's a great stock. We're just going to we just going to go and double up tomorrow. Right. We keep it real. So then I got to tell you these things. But I got to tell you these things. Kenan, the price doesn't go down because of your T.A. The price goes down because of the news that came out. You have yet to talk about Antera. You've yet to talk about Adam Aaron and the way he's selling off his company. There's more to a stock than just the ticker and the action you see. That's why people are invested in this damn company because everybody just looked at a ticker and even you, it could go up this high. It could get to this level. It could get to that level. No, it can't go anywhere. Have you seen the fundamentals of the company? Have you read it line by line? Did you see what the future purchase agreement, the FPA is with Antara? Antara holds Adam Aaron and AMC by the balls. They can't offer it. They can't do anything. The vote, they get to vote without even having the shares on hand. Like, you have no idea what's happening right now. Clearly. But you're giving people the idea that you do. So let's go ahead and talk about what I said at the beginning of this. You're on Fox News, brother. They've asked you four times. You brag about it. Trey was there. You were there. Matt was there. Tara Bull was there. You wonder why you're getting on Fox News? Have you ever really asked yourself? That's not a flex. Right here. Let's go talk about the so-called villain. Right? This is the villain to you. And I'm telling you, it's people like Mudrick, and it's people like Antara, the smaller guys, because they're getting at you. They're nickeling. You know, it's going to be death by a thousand paper cuts. It's not going to be death by a damn sledgehammer. It's the little guys just taking out AMC every damn which way. And why? Because they all partners with this young man right here. Everybody is. And Tara almost bought out 8% of Citadel. Yeah. Citadel doesn't offer up their company to anybody, but they do with him because they, they got the best leadership in the world. Did you not see my last video? Obviously not. But we'll go ahead and we'll watch this because I'm going to explain this to you how you got played. But understand, who is winning? With AMC coming down like this, it's the people like Ken Griffin, for example, <laughs> who Citadel reports record revenues for a hedge fund in 2022, right? This is all over the news, top stories, and it keeps coming out. Damn. You think he's winning off of AMC? He's winning off the whole damn market. You're in a distressed cycle. It's here. Recession is here. The market's going to come pouring down. The spy will be down to 3,200 points, 3,150. Yeah, I called that last year or this year. Do you know why? Because they loaned out so much money at 0% interest. They were giving out free money from 20, what, 2010 all the way through to now, 2021. Everybody was borrowing money for free. Now the interest rates go up and now people are going to start defaulting. Of course the shorts are going to win. The shorts are primed to win no matter what you do. It is not a short squeeze. They are licking their chops. They're winning on every single stock. And you think that AMC was the vessel to fight them with? You picked the wrong stock. But hey, we'll play your game right now about Ken Griffin. Day after day after day, even on the weekend, two days ago, family. So the reason I say this is because you're going to get so many people talking about AMC who are telling you, yeah, it's saying they made record revenue, but in actuality, they got this and that money in debt and da da, da 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 listen family wall street cares about making money today this is really what they're trying to do and citadel they're not playing by the rules so all of the rules that you think they have they're playing by the rules you're you're just blind to it or oblivious to it they use everything that's possible right so let's go back to it really quick who is king griffin who's he married to who was he married to? Do you have any idea? Have to abide by 
they don't even count. And that's the thing that you got to understand. And everybody who's been investing in AMC or putting in a little bit of money and not over leveraging themselves, they understand a that the bit. other side ain't playing fair. So then when you find a new rule, this is just a new rule for Citadel allegedly to break. So now if they're not having such a good year, then why do we keep seeing stuff like this? Citadel, Ken Griffin, he bought a Miami house and he basically broke the record for the most expensive house in the whole United I hate to break it to you, but uh, Ken Griffin's been a billionaire for a long time. So he's been really rich for a long time. So him buying a house this year isn't an indication that they're holding a short on AMC. It's absolutely ridiculous what you're saying. But I'm going to show you something else. Your flex was Fox, right? I'm going to show you something. Do you know who Ann Diaz is? Diaz, whatever her damn name is. Do you know who she is? Do you have any clue? You should. Go ahead and scroll up for me. This is Fox News. Okay? Fox corporation board of directors in march 2019 she's the founder and ceo of aragon global holdings you don't know what that is that's a short hedge fund why don't you ask yourself who she was married to who helped her with the fund this is king griffin's ex-wife he's on the board of directors at fox news i said this two years ago for anyone who's getting on fox news yourself tara matt trey if you guys were about the people, you wouldn't go on there. You wouldn't because I'm a, and I'm a full-blooded Republican, guys. I vote right. I love Fox. I watch it for every other reason. But I'll tell you what I don't do. I don't contribute to the misinformation to the public. And that's what's happening here on the investment side, without a doubt. And your, that's your flex. You've been on Fox four times. Well, they bought you out four times. And it helped you with views and it helped you with, with I don't know. Your channel, that's, that's how you make it. You're making money the dirty way off the people and pushing out that information. We'll keep going. United States, and guess whose record he broke? He broke his own record. Family, he had a house before this that was the most expensive house. And now he got the most expensive house purchased in Miami for $109 million. Family, he getting so much money, he didn't even know what to do. Why? Because he's betting against AMC. <laughs> He's betting against GameStop. He's betting against what could be considered meme stocks. And then it appears, right? We don't know for sure because we don't want to get sued. Nobody trying to get sued. It appears that they are involved in manipulating the stock towards the downside and then betting that it's going to go down. It's kind of like playing a game against the refs. You're wrong. Like, it's not even a bad thing. To, it's not even illegal to do this. Distressed credit investors, that's a code name for short. The way they structure their positions are not to over leverage themselves, which they did not do in AMC. I'm sorry to break it to the world. They are not over leveraged. I put a video out yesterday. I really want you to watch it. And I, and I explained to you why Antera owns AMC now, but they're not over leveraged. And that video was an interview from four months ago, right when Ape was released. I want you to know the difference. Yeah, GameStop, they got caught with their pants down. But they knew exactly what they were doing. They knew exactly how to misrepresent AMC as being a short squeeze. It wasn't. They've been in the pocket the whole time. They knew exactly what they were. Go look, go look at the interview with Matt Kors and David Lauer. David Lauer tells Matt, yeah, they got GameStop wrong. That's why I own it. But they had, they're right on AMC. They do risk management for a living. You think they're going to get it wrong twice? You've gotten it wrong. We'll keep watching. Right? It's kind of like playing a game against the refs. But since Wall Street, they don't care about, you know, the retail investors, the everyday investors like us. What do they do? You know what? They say, hey, look, if Ken Griffin looked like he's winning, then he must be winning. So then let's go and bet against it. So then you start to see the short interest go up. Hold up. Take a look at this. You start to see the short interest go up. Let me move myself a little bit so you can see it. You see it at 21%. Almost 22%. This is very high. High is over 10%. This is at this is double what would be considered crazy high. So now you see the short interest going up. This means again, what percent of the company is used to bet against itself? Family, so they are borrowing shares and throwing them in and selling off like crazy. And then it's dragging the stock down. And then guess what they go and do? They go and buy options or sell options. So look, let's look at AMC and this is Moo Moo again. So like you can <laughs> see this stuff for free. This why. Don't forget to go and plug your, uh, your sponsor there. Um, what you're about to see is, and he's going to try to explain, is hedge funds hedging. So when you see the options chain represent the hedge, 
of what you, ex what you just said, to counter what you just said, that should tell you everything you need to know. You are not in a play that is a short squeeze. They're already hedged for it. They're buying, listen to me, they're buying puts knowing it's going to go down. They're selling calls, okay? Because they know that whoever's buying them, they're going to expire out of the money. For the 20th, which is the largest expiration date that in the next month, or even in the next year, two weeks from now. You're so intelligent, my man. You do, you're saying exactly what they're doing. And yet you're betting the other way. <laughs> you're such a good trader. I'll tell you to download it. Look at the unusual options activity. It says that they are selling right here. If it's red, it means they're betting against it. If it's green, they're betting with it. Look at how many reds. So they're selling calls. They're betting against it. They're buying puts. Okay. Now that means that they're betting that it's going to actually go down. I'm sorry. They're buying. They're selling puts. This says sell. I thought it said buy. Let's be clear. They're selling puts. This means that they're betting with it, right? <laughs> and then you got short calls, then long calls. So they're buying puts. They're selling calls, right? So if it's red, they're betting against it. And look at the amount of money they're they're betting, family. Millions of dollars. Look at this. All the way down here, two point five million dollars on a put option, family. And this put option is for January twentieth. So in about let's call it twelve days or so, they're betting that this thing is just gonna come down. So imagine this, it says that they are buying puts, they are selling calls, they are selling short puts, and they are buying, I believe it was calls again, or there's, they're selling more calls. Um, the crazy part about that is everything that's explained there is that they're hedging the fact that they're short because the short's going to win. So they're actually going to win two times. I'm just letting you know. There's nothing on here that says they're going to lose. They're not worried about the stock going a different direction. They know it's headed to zero. They know there's a vote coming. They're, they know there's no earnings report that's going to come out and show AMC made money. The box office is at all-time low. The quarterly box office for AMC just, and because he's not going to tell you this, he told you that they're doing better, better business, was at an all-time low since 1998. They haven't seen these numbers since the water boy. Okay? Avatar is a water movie, way of the water. The Water Boy. Yeah, that football movie with Adam Sandler. <laughs> come down, come down. And then when you go all the way to the top, they got another one for January 20th where they're selling call options, a.k.a. they're basically betting that it's not going to go up. So what are they doing? They're trying to make all of this money on the way down. And what we have here is Adam Aaron, who is trying on Twitter. And he's going on a little bit of a rant. But he's on Twitter and a lot of people are not feeling it. If you're feeling it or not, you be the judge of that. I'm not trying to sway you either way. I just want to give you the facts so that you could be the judge. Facts. So let's take a look. They said this. Ontario Capital just bought AMC Entertainment Ape Preferred Equity Stock. Right? And this was reported two days ago by MarketWatch, an investor place. And they said this. The investment firm purchased 60 million units of it on December 22nd. Right? So, okay. What does this mean? Let's go on. Let's look. It says that AMC is trying to raise $100 million. Remember this number. They're trying to raise $100 million in new equity because, again, they're running out of money because they're not selling a lot of seats. They're not selling a lot of concessions in the movies enough to keep the company going. This he just said the complete opposite. I don't know if you guys caught it, but earlier, and I'm not going to rewind it, he says, oh, but they're, they're making money. They're doing all right now. And now we all know what, the truth. They're, they're running out of money, and they're going to be out of business. But what they did do is they agreed to this future purchase agreement and it's going to reduce the debt for your AMC by $100 million. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't, that doesn't help you right now. Raising $300 million does nothing for this company but give them more cash to burn. They're burning cash. They don't have a way to, they don't have a path to profitability. And that's the truth. But I'll let Keenan keep telling you nonsense for a little bit longer. Uh, he's just reading articles at this point. This is why you don't treat AMC like an Apple when you just buy Apple and hold it long term. And this is why you don't treat AMC like Microsoft. where you just buy it and you hold it long term in terms of you want to be 
uh, you want to put this in your retirement account. You know what I'm saying? Those are companies that are, that are doing well. AMC may grow into that kind of company, but as it stands currently, it is a short squeeze play. A short squeeze play means you buy low, the short sellers all have to buy back in, and then they run the shares all the way up in a cascade of short sellers just buying the shares, and then it's at a high level, so you buy low and then you sell high after something like that happens right this doesn't mean that it will happen there are no guarantees but the retail investors who understand the play and have not over leveraged themselves are fighting for this and market fairness so now since amc is not making money and they're not a profitable company then again we don't treat it like it was so now they said that they're trying to raise 100 million dollars 110 and that means that they want to use it to keep the company going since they're not profitable and it says the investment firm again on terra they also agreed to 100 million dollars in debt for 91 million dollars worth of ape so they basically exchanged it so they took some of amc's debt off of the table and it says also so it's looking like this total deal might even be around 200 million dollars again we'll keep going and looking at the facts so now amc's adam aaron the ceo he said that we believe it's in the best interest to simplify the capital structure so this is why you've been hearing about amc reverse splits this is why you've been hearing about them converting ape back into amc shares to kind of up the price of ape but let's see what's going on with adam aaron because again like i told you he was going on a bit of a rant and a lot of people on twitter are not feeling it again you be the judge if you feeling it or not now let's look at the facts so he said this some of you and some people don't like being addressed by that some of you misguidedly protest against dilution right and he said when demand is off a whopping 35 percent yeah some of you and i'm not having it bro we read the tweets we read the tweets you know what's the worst part about this is that you keep telling people to put money back into this like you're reading the same tweet right you're an intelligent guy i hope how many tweets and how many bad deals did you have to see to still be in this play like th these are guys that i can't follow these are guys that i can't be around these are guys i can't watch because anyone's still trying to give you the facts and you make the judgment. I don't want to. That means you have nothing to say. You're sitting in the middle of the road and you don't want to jump on one side of the table or the other. You're afraid you might lose some traction. You know how I know that part? Because I saw this right here. You're sitting right here. And then look what you say. Don't mind the super chat. But oh, you probably can't see it because I already put you on full screen. But listen to this. However, if we break under this 16 we could head towards 13. so now with that being known i personally can't buy puts on amc so i can't really rock out towards the downside so then it makes investing on it or investing into options on the upside it makes it risky because you can't never hedge or you can never switch and then change your direction because you never want to get married to a direction you understand so then with things like that with me, I just it's it's a it's kind of a one trick pony for me in terms of playing the options. I can only do the calls because I don't want to make any money with the short sellers. That's just the way that I roll with AMC. So he literally is telling you he's the worst day trader in the history of world kind. Like he bought that position with the idea of I'm gonna keep my viewership by not buying puts. See, Trey and Matt they held a little bit of integrity on the backside where they say, you know, we're gonna start buying puts, we're just gonna make money with them. And I was like, okay, you guys are idiots now. But this guy's a real idiot. He knows it's going down, and I can't do it. I can't do it. See, me, I'll tell you what I did. Just so you're aware, Keenan. Okay, and I know you have, we have another four minutes to watch your video, but I knew the stock was going to go down. I did. I knew AMC was going to fall to the floor. I knew Ape was going to fall down to the ground. And I refused to even get a position in it because I didn't want to help anybody. I didn't, I, I could have made tons of money. I made these declarations months ago in front of the whole world and said, hey, it's going down to the ground. It's going to fall down. I know it for a fact, blah, blah, blah. Just market mechanics in general, math. Oh yeah, Marantz, why don't you go buy puts? Because I don't want to participate. Why don't you go short the stock? Because I don't want to participate. I don't buy the shares. I could have bought them at 60 cents. I don't want to participate. You would be better off with me by doing that route instead of doing what you're doing here. You're just hanging around to see who's going to keep watching your videos, and it's unfortunate. And then he says companies go broke when they run out of fresh cash. His 
competitors, Cineworld and Regal are already in bankruptcy court right now, but not us. Why? He said, because they're diluting the stock. So he's trying to say we should keep on diluting it. And again, you be the judge if you feel like they should or they should not. So now let's keep it going. He back at it again. Some of you also forgot that I currently own 3 million AMC and 3 million Abe shares, right? What does that mean? That means that I am AMC's largest shareholder and will not sell any anytime soon. I ride with you. This is what he's trying to tell everybody who's an AMC ape. He's saying that he's the largest AMC retail shareholder. Remember, he's an insider. So if you want to consider him a retail trader, you be the judge of that. But this is a tweet that he said. And again, you let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I'm not trying to tell you what you should believe or what you should think. I want to hear what you think about How about this. I want to hear what you think. I want to hear what you have to say. I'm tired of you just reading back tweets to me. Tell me your opinion. Or are you afraid that you might lose some viewership? See, something like this, I would know the insider's track, and I would be like, oh, I read the proxy statement. I read the annual shareholders meeting, and I know exactly that he cannot sell his shares. He can't sell shares. He needs to hold eight times his salary in units. And I'm sorry, but the value of the APE unit and AMC unit right now is at $2.41 upon completion of the conversion. So, yeah, his 3 million shares and 3 million shares are going to convert to 6 million shares when they're fully vested. He's not going to have enough money on the books. They're going to be zero by the time we get there. You'll find that out. He'll find that out. I want to know your opinion. I'm tired of you hiding behind it. About this. Now, let's keep it going. He said this because, again, they're trying to use that capital that they raise from diluting the shares to make AMC a better company. He said in about 100 AMC theaters, they'll offer significant number of advanced early access screenings to AMC Investor Connect shareholder members, right? So they're trying to put the money to good use. So what does all of this mean? This means that at a minimum, at a minimum, what you have to do is make sure if you're watching any kind of AMC content, it's somebody who's giving you or you have declared to be a trusted voice of some type of reputable source who's showing you the receipts, who's giving it to you real. Like when I told you again that, hey, and if you remember, let me know how I said, look, it's five dollars right now, almost six, but it's very likely to come down to three. Every time that we look at the technicals at the end of the video, you already know what time it is. And I tell you, you know what? What do we do? We trade with the chart and not with our heart. <laughs> we have to do that so we could be in reality. Some you trade with the chart and not with your heart. Did you see that last video that you put out? I don't buy puts. No, I don't. that's all heart. That's not the chart. Trading with the chart would mean that you're day trading, that you're looking at tickers. You're not day trading this stock. You're riding it out. You're riding it to the ground. You're going to lose every dollar you put in, all 14000 for a guy who makes half a million dollars. Some people are not living in reality, and they just want to tell you everything that you want to hear, and they won't keep it real, and then they won't keep it raw and now the amc is in the three dollar range it's looking like oh yeah what was telling us that this was going to happen first we know all of the manipulation we know ken griffin is in the news for looking like he's doing a great job whether you believe he is or not right it looked like he is according to the mainstream media they are pumping out that narrative especially with him buying these houses and all of this stuff right mm -hmm. so it looks like he's doing a, a really really fine job allegedly manipulating the stock and making money off of it so wall street likes that and they're gonna pump him up so now what I want you to do is think to yourself, okay, how am I going to play this? How am I going to play this? And I'll tell you this, the eight playbook is don't buy more than you willing to lose. <laughs> if you ain't will willing to lose anything, don't put a dollar in it. If you're not the type. You're saying that now. At $46, you're telling the world it's going to go to a $1,500 a share. We're going to tell them, hey, by the way, I know you guys are buying right now at 20, but don't put anything more in it because it's going to go down to three. I'm the guy that was saying that. I'm the one who said it's going to go from 70 to zero. I'm telling you right now, I'm the one who said it. But because you put on a bow tie, a suit, and you go on Fox where they want you, you're pushing out the wrong information. You're costing people their whole livelihood. To be able to diamond hand, don't put a dollar in it, 
right? It's that simple. Now, if you did want to, because there are people who were complaining, and I told y'all this before, I seen people, you know, on Trey's Trade's channel, shout out to Trey, uh -huh. and they were talking about, oh man, I lost my life savings and this and that and the third. Understand this, at a certain point, you gotta take some accountability and say, why would I put my life savings into a company that everybody is telling me is being manipulated? You know, people are going on national news to tell you how it's being manipulated and how things are not fair. Why would you put your life safe? You went on national news to tell people that you're holding, that you're an ape, that you're a retail investor. You didn't go on there and say, you know what, guys? This stock's not going anywhere. Whatever people are putting in, they're about to be broke. Did you say that? No, you told them the other cautionary tale. Don't put in what you're not willing to lose. I want to know your opinion. I don't want to know how you're washing your hands of it or how you're doing damage control. Tell me, Keenan, come out with the video without all the rhymes and the reasons and all the, all the fakeness. Come out and be real as fuck. Hey, listen up. And not fam. Hey, how are you doing? I'm just going to tell you guys right now. I bought in with this company because I thought it could go to X, Y, and Z. Obviously, it's not going to go that way, and I'm going to lose every dollar I put in. And so are you. Are you willing to make that video? Because I make it every day. I make it every day. Except I didn't put money in, right? Somebody wants to know, what's the agenda, Marantz? Why do you make videos if you didn't put any money in? Why are you giving out this info? I'm a reporter of facts. That's it. Whether you like them or not, I'm a reporter of facts. Adam Aaron showing this movie, these early screenings. Uh, what I said, that was, a good, that was a good tweet, Adam. I just wish it came from the AMC account. But he's showing it in 100 movie theaters. 100 movie theaters in America. That's not a lot. They're trying their best, man. They're trying their best. But you know what? That's what they're, I don't even want to say they're trying their best. Retail investors are trying their best to keep this afloat. But it's a lost cause. You bet on the wrong horse. You have the wrong team. You have the wrong jersey on. You're cheering for the wrong squad. I mean, how else do you want to paint it? Keenan, make a video and say something. Say your opinion. Don't speak in all these uncertainties. Be certain about who you are. Tell somebody. I've seen your videos. You know, I saw a live stream of yours once. I'm going to tell you something. This is me to you. I saw a live stream once where you broke it down and you were like, hey, man, I came from nothing. I shouldn't even be here. And I was like, hell yeah, you shouldn't be here. But no, I didn't mean it like that. But I, I, but I, know, I know what that feels like. I know what that feels like where you're like, hey, the whole world's betting against you. You, should, you don't even realize you're going to be this successful. You're going to be making $20,000 a, a month. People are looking at you. Oh, your whole family's so proud of you. And they should be. You built a platform and you showed up every day. I give you that. But at what point are you willing to sacrifice all of these goods for the greater good? The truth. That's the truth. That's what I'm asking you. I'm going to finish off this last minute in the video, but I hope you really pay attention to what I'm telling you. Your integrity is worth more than a super chat or a paycheck from YouTube. Or 15 minutes of fame on Fox. At least it should be. Savings into something when you know that that's the case because you won't be able to diamond hand it. And me, there are people who have significantly more shares of AMC than I do. And they're thinking, man, can they, uh, 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 and I say, hey, listen, listen, every share of AMC that I bought, I'm willing to diamond hand. Right? Because I got that same 650 shares that you've seen me with time and time again. Diamond handing it. Because that is what I am willing to lose for the AMC calls. Now, we don't invest all of our money into it. We put the rest of our money into ETFs like VTI. And we put some of it into strong individual stocks like Apple and we cash up. That's how you invest. AMC is totally different. It's a it's a bigger ball game. This is the big leagues and this is the retail investors versus Wall Street. And that's why I'm holding for you. And I'm gonna keep it real and keep it raw so you can be informed. And if you appreciate that, family, put a hundred in a chat and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. So what he basically said was, he knows it's a lost cause. He knows he's gonna lose it all. He's gonna write it down with you. But what's it worth to him? It's worth enough views and enough subscriptions and enough Moo Moo app click-throughs, it's grifting. Grifting at the sacrifice of your investment. The misinformation that has been put out on that channel for the last two years is unbearable. Guys, reporting what's happening, that's fine. But have a stance, and you have none. Your stance is to say, I'm not in it, I'm, I'm Bennett, and I ain't in it. 
Like it's really, it's really just for me. It shows a lack of morality. It shows a lack of integrity. And I tell you, Keenan, you could do better. But I'll be the guy to stick my neck out there and tell you, like I have told you, that investment is a terrible investment. You just said it yourself without saying it. You said you'd rather invest into ETFs, the total stock market, or something different. Me personally, well, you see what I invest in. I'm GameStop and I'm fearless. Because when, you're convic- when you have conviction and you've done the homework and you continue to do it, when the field goal pulse move, you keep looking for that answer. And when you find that answer that makes sense, you say, okay, that makes sense. I can handle this part. I can handle macroeconomics and invest beyond that. Don't worry. My next video is going to be about markets with May because she's ridiculous. But this one was all for you. Keenan, you can either quit now while you're way behind or you can keep pushing out the bullshit you're doing. But please make one video. I ask for one where you say how you really feel. Not all this generalities. Nah. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. Keenan Grace. I'm going to stay dressed up, baby. I'll see you. Peace.